Hello tubers, uh, I'm just going to try out my luck at uh, scrapping. This is uh, my first scrapping video. The only thing I've scrapped so far was a uh, TV I found and I thought it was kind of fun. So I'm going to start this series of scrapping with uh, it's, uh, what do you call it, like a charger for old Galaxy S3 or something like that. I've been trying to sell them on Amazon and eBay for, I don't know, about a year, but nobody will buy them because they're too old. And I got a deal on these for like uh, five bucks a piece or something like that. I figured that was a great deal, but it turned out nothing. So I'm going to try and scrap them and make a video, at least get some use out of them. See what happens. See what's inside them. I'm getting to really like this scrapping. Only like uh, electronics, you know. Like, what's his name? That guy on uh, YouTube called Ben V Scrapper or something like that. Wait, that guy got me hooked. So, here it goes. This thing is so well made. It's a shame, like a uh, Duracell power mat. Such a shame to like uh, just waste it for nothing. But at least I'm making a video out of it, so that's okay. This is the fun part, you know, where you get to uh, destroy and take things apart. It's very common. Yeah, destroying stuff is very, you know. Therapeutic. <laughs> Hip hammer time. Gonna need a bigger hammer. So from watching all these videos, I'm pretty sure I got all the tools I need here. A hammer, a couple of screwdrivers, a knife, needle nose pliers, and uh, wire cutters. But uh, since there's a whole bunch of torques, I'm gonna probably gonna have to buy a screwdriver set, a Torx screwdriver set. That's tomorrow. Let's see what happens today. So what is that? Um, okay, USB cable and uh, USB or yeah USB charger and uh, this is one of those uh, little battery packs that you can recharge and take on the road it's just got like uh, one battery in it I think one well we'll find out what's in it I don't know I'm not sure what kind of battery obviously it has one though I'll fast forward through the uh, extra boring, extra boring stuff. 
there you go. And I think uh, it'd be a good idea to be wearing gloves when you do this if you're going to be using, going to be stupid like me and just use a really sharp knife instead of a screwdriver. But this is my first time. You know, uh, that's uh, aluminum. There's only like uh, two little screws inside that can be removed and be saved in an aluminum pile. I'm gonna have to use a hammer on this or something. There's a little piece of uh, clean copper. I think this is called copper one grade. It's not coated, just clear, clean. Just gotta move every little piece, like plastic out of it, everything. Oh, so the copper, I just got that little thing there just to collect uh, brass plugs or gold fingers from the cards and uh, little pieces of copper that I can open up later like transformers and different things and uh, then I got bigger buckets I can throw them in and afterwards once they get filled up so this is a piece of aluminum with a mid-grade or low-grade motherboard in the back it's just a low-grade motherboard it's stuck on I can take that off just use a knife and peel it off So every little piece of wire counts. Make sure you got clean wires in your wire bucket. I got a big uh, blue bin underneath the table. I just throw all the wires in, but you make sure you cut off all the ends, all the outlet or the plugs, and everything. A USB cable, every every cable. So you just put in wire in your wire bucket, and that builds up pretty quick. You could just go for a drive and only pick up uh, cords as a hobby but you know I'm just starting out so I want to open up everything and see what's inside and then you know which ones to pick up when you're driving by so I'll take this journey with uh, all of you and if you have any comments for me you know I could take any kind of advice if you know something I don't if I do something wrong that way we I can learn and we can all learn together all the new scrappers so yeah please leave some comments got thick skin you can call me stupid <laughs> I don't care just let me know what's going on if I got something wrong or if you got suggestions anything So those are almost like rubberized magnets and they're all everything's glued on here so I guess I managed to get those off there's another little piece of aluminum and there's another piece of aluminum 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 there's a couple of screws like uh, you can just take off and then the whole thing is clean 
There you go, hammer time. Like I said, this is really therapeutic. I love it. I can see this doing this. I can see this doing this all day long. I have a workshop in my basement, so during the winter blahs, people with like mood disorders, like you know, from uh, winter, just get yourself a little uh, those sun lights and uh, sit there and take stuff apart if you're retired like me. Keep you busy, make a couple of bucks. I love this. So there's a small, low-grade motherboard in there. Throw it in with those. Low-grade motherboards are the ones that don't have any of those uh, capacitor things that people can, you know, take apart for uh, gold recovery. So there's not much on them, it's just low-grade. And they're usually brown, not green. But everything counts. Instead of throwing it in the garbage, you might as well just have a bin. I'm not sure about all the prices yet, but once I find out, well, they're all different. I'm in Canada, so obviously if you live in Australia or India or whatever, they're all different prices, so that's up to you to check it out. I also got a little bucket there that just for like screws and nuts and bolts and anything like uh, steel bearing you just throw that in there once that thing fills up because it's all small pieces it's gonna be really super heavy so it's like a block of steel so it's good to throw everything in there anything that's steel that's not brass aluminum or copper second one we already seen how that works out so I'm gonna fast forward this
and we're almost back in normal speed. Yeah, that's also aluminum, so save it. Low grade motherboard on aluminum. And here we go with a transformer. If you want to call it that, it's just a, it's a charger for the back. Let's see what's inside that. So take out the plug thingies. They're brass. You save those. And that little brass pile. Brass pile. And my little orange box. Got quite a few of them already. Piece of wire. Let's go clean it all out. This is all we got to work with. So that I think that would be a mid-grade board because there's a whole bunch of stuff on it. Copper bearing and transformer and stuff. So I would throw that in the mid-grade pile motherboards. Let's see what else I got. I gotta see if I can find something else to scrap out. I got a drill, a rechargeable drill, a rechargeable saw, skill saw, and a rechargeable, or uh, the charger for the batteries. So I'm gonna dig that out. Oh, I'll get that later. We'll just do the computer first. This computer is must have been built by somebody like I do that too. I also build computers, but not this one. This one here seems like it's got like a laptop motherboard. It's so small. And it's also got laptop RAM in it. And for some reason, it's got like a gamer power supply on it. Which I don't get, but I'm not going to scrap the power supply. That's uh, I could probably get at least twenty dollars for it, like on Kijiji, eBay, or whatever you know, just whatever you post in your country for used stuff. This is like a heavy-duty thermal tank, five hundred and fifty watt or something like that. I'll put that on the side. Might as well remove the rest of the wires that's in there. Those you gotta scrap out and uh, you gotta remember to cut out the ends. This is the way I learned on nine. I don't know if uh, Canada cares if you remove the ends or not, but just to be on the safe side until I get to a scrap yard or, and then ask them, I'll just keep removing the ends of any wire. So that way I don't get like a bucket load and then go to the scrapyard and then they give me like low grade prices for the whole thing. 
will wear. And if I find out next time I find out that it's okay, I'll keep them on. But according to the videos I saw, you have to remove them. Look at that guy. Wish I could sell that by the pound. So we'll take out this big huge uh, motherboard. It's a weird looking uh, heat sink. I don't know if it's aluminum or copper or brass. It looks like brass color. Anybody out there that's done this before, if they can tell what it is or how to find out what it is, you can leave a comment and let me know because I don't know. Okay. I'm calling the shots on Monday morning, but there's screws underneath it. See how long it takes me to figure it out. Nope. Screws underneath. Okay, that's a nice uh, 4 gig RAM, laptop RAM. So between the RAM and uh, awesome power supply, I got a few bucks out of this little computer. The scrap. And uh, make sure you always remove the batteries. I don't know why, but I save all the batteries in a different bin. Until I find out, you know, like uh, rechargeable batteries and uh, PC board batteries, whatever. Until I get to the scrapper and find out if yeah. you can, you know, sell them or not. Until then, I'll keep them in a separate bucket and then once I find out, at least I got a few saved up. This PC wasn't a great example of how to scrap out a PC, but because it wasn't much in it. And uh, I couldn't really scrap out the power supply, so next one I get. Let's see what's inside the power supply. I've already opened a couple of them up. I've seen as uh, quite a bit of copper. But I gotta figure out, do you, uh, not this part supply, but other ones, do you just throw them into uh, the bin, cut the wires and throw the power supplies in the bin, or do you take them apart and take out, you know, all the copper and stuff? So if anybody knows for sure, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks. Grade little motherboard, and this is pretty heavy. This heat sink, I'm just gonna leave it on the side for now until I figure out what you know if it's aluminum or copper.
check out see what's going on with the fan I know there's a motor in there I don't know but is it worth breaking apart and taking it out yeah it looks pretty good looks quite a bit of copper in there I mean uh, you know just throw in the bucket motors with the motors that's pretty nice I didn't expect this much from uh, that's good. Get those scrub out fans. I wouldn't bother trying to pull out the copper out of it. You wouldn't like uh, get any different price for the copper that's in there. And instead of uh, you know getting the prices for the motor, Let's throw it weight. out the motors. So just keep it the way it is, throw it in the buckets, in the bucket of mortars. I'm keeping this baby. <laughs> Get like 40 bucks for this on uh, online. It's a nice bar supply. Uh, 500 watt TR2 thermal take. Yeah, that's good. So I can get like 40 bucks for the power supply. Got a four gig of RAM. I can get about 20 bucks or at least 10 bucks for the RAM. And uh, see what's in here. I don't even know what's in here. Never opened one. What is that? Is that magnets? Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't bother doing that. Just throw it out. Throw it out. See what's in this thing. Actually, um, yeah, let's grab it. Let's see what the hell is in here anyway. I just got my uh, Blue Yeti microphone, Blackout Edition. 
and uh, I'm doing the voiceover but um, I don't know when I should be able to I should be talking because obviously there's already sound when I'm talking during the video and I can't hear that sound when I'm doing a voiceover so I don't know during the video if I'm talking or not it's, if anybody knows if that you know if you can fix that so you can hear the video and talk at the same time when you're doing a voiceover just leave me a comment let me know how to do that maybe help somebody else too that'd be great thanks by the way this uh, blue yeti mic it's pretty awesome sound quality is amazing and it's just a usb speaker or a microphone i mean If I could sing, I'd be singing. But not yet. It's not over until the fat guy sings. And video's not over yet, so we'll have to wait for the singing. Alright? Alright. Alright. So uh, the voiceover problem that I was talking about, that's using Filmora 9.5. So this is uh, my editing, video editing program, Filmora 9.5. This ain't too much in here either. opening up it's really not much in there I know you could do something with the lasers and stuff but I have to look it up so mortar get something different next Let's see if we can scrap like a cordless drill and a cordless uh, skill saw Take out a drill. Yep, nice. Okay, the great fight off. Tighten it. This is uh, mm -hmm. the King Kong versus Godzilla. Ryobi against the MC. She's gonna win. Ryobi's winning. Santa. Oh no, it's Torx. So I'm going to have to get me a Torque. set of uh, Torx screwdrivers for the deeper holes or I'll just keep using my hammer.
Okay, I guess it's hammer time. I'm gonna have to speed this up. This is gonna get a little boring. So here we go. Yeah, bring in the hammer. Enter the hammer. Get the hammer. There you go. Kick it again, Sweeney. That's it. Beat it like it owes you money. Good. Torx, you say. Then Torx screwdriver. Torx X. This is how we do it in Canada. It's a nice size motor. So I heard somebody say that heavy metal, that this thing is really heavy. It goes under, if it's everything, anything that's like half inch or thicker steel, it goes under heavy metal and you get more money for it. So. I guess I'm gonna have to start a new bucket for heavy metal. There's a whole bunch of little uh, brass pieces in here, like uh, it's just the waste, like to just get rid of it. So I'm gonna be taking them all out. Like put ten little, or uh, it's a good way. See, to see what I can get out of it. Brass is brass. Every little bit helps. That's what you're doing. This. You're not doing this to get rich. It's just for a hobby. 
pull in front of it. Oh, another little piece and another little piece of brass. Look at all the brass that was in that little thing. Awesome. Awesome brassum. And more. Keep coming. at it all. That was very satisfying. After the garbage. Boonya. Okay, this is uh, gonna be have to be for uh, next video. 
Uh, I'm not starting this up. Uh, I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm going to go in the house. Um, anybody who made it this far, I have to say thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you in uh, the next video. And uh, we'll start off with uh, this saw. Uh, see what's in this one. You can uh, save the blades. People buy them on uh, eBay for making knives and crafts. So, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.